As so many of you, we have been watching very closely the peace process that is going on in the Middle East regarding the two-state solution that's being brokered by John Kerry in the United States to divide Israel to make a Palestinian state alongside the state of Israel. In this process, there has been some tremendous concessions made that have really caused a lot of pain for a lot of people. There is joy for the Palestinians because part of the peace process initiative is to release the prisoners that are being held in Israeli jails. But these prisoners are not being held without a reason or a cause. Many of them have been found guilty in Israeli courts for terrorist acts, suicide bombings, participating in it, whatever the, whatever the part of it is that they've been a part of, uh, the terrorism that has been brought upon Israel over the last two decades, these individuals have been arrested and found guilty, and this is why they are serving time in Israeli prisons. But now Mahmoud Abbas is demanding as part of the peace negotiations that all the prisoners be released. It has really touched me to my very heart and my very core. And as an American Jewish man, that, that I come to you and I plead with the President of the United States, Barack Obama, as well as the United States Senate. And I'm asking you to sign this petition because me, I have personally experienced the hand of terrorism in Israel when I was on an extended visit to Israel in 2004. There, I've been there for several months there already, when on September 22nd, of 2004, I, where I live close by French Hill there, I was going for a, a walk where I often resorted to pray in a nearby uh, uh, national park there. And as I was working my way there, I found myself coming down the sidewalk just across the street from where Zanab Abu Salam, and I'm just looking at her name to make sure I pronounce this right, she had been led out by some Palestinians and she was walking down the sidewalk as well, making her way to the bus stop that was there. Now, I was a little bit ahead of her in my own walk there. And where I was about to stop would have only put me a few meters from her when she detonated the, the bomb and became another suicide victim. Actually, the eighth woman suicide uh, bomber uh, during the Antifada. And... A strange thing happened to me that day is the only reason I'm able to be here with you, either uninjured or not part of the fatality. And that was as I was walking towards that corner, a thought come in my mind that said, when you get there, you have another phone call to make. I, I was on the phone with a friend back in on uh, stateside, and I did. I had to make another phone call. And the thought that came in my mind said, you'll get there, you'll, you'll get at that corner, and you'll turn your back because the wind will be blowing in the phone, and you won't leave the corner. And, and this was true. I always did that. And there's a little pole I would stand by right there. And so when this thought came into my mind, I, I didn't like the idea, but there was another pathway I could take, but it was down a rugged terrain, a rugged path. There's a very steep path going down into the valley there. And so I turned and I went the other way, begrudgingly so. And as I started that other way, it actually put me parallel to the same path. The only difference was as I went down the hill, now the mountain began to be a buffer zone. And right about that moment at 3.40 p.m. in the afternoon, this young woman, 18 years old, detonates her bomb as she's being questioned by two Israeli border police. She killed both the policemen. She wounded 16 Israeli citizens that were there as well. And had I been there, I would have either been a fatality with the Israeli border police, or I would have been wounded along with the other 16. In fact, the very pole that was there was tore up with shrapnel from the blast right afterwards. I was nearly knocked off my feet from that blast. And so I plead with you in this petition to sign this petition that they stop the release of the Palestinian prisoners as part of this negotiations. I can, I can feel for the Israeli citizens as well, and their families, 
Yes, it's a joyous occasion for the Palestinians to have their family come back home. But the thing is, is those victims of the bomb blast, whether they were injured or whether they're family members that were lost in the bomb blast, to know that the murderous people that were killing their families is being released. I mean, it's, it's incomparable to even think what these families are suffering to know that once again, these people that have committed so many crimes and so many acts of terror against Israel are now free. And since their release, there has been news articles and studies that have done that the increase of violence is already once again happening against Israeli citizens. And more Israelis are being killed once again. Please sign this petition and put a stop to this violence.